Welcome back to the channel everybody. Uh, today the smoker is going but I'm kind of just hiding out here in the garage because it's raining. Go figure. And uh, we're going to do a boneless leg of lamb. Something I love to eat but I just don't cook enough. And uh, let's uh, get inside where it's dry and uh, start prepping this thing. I was looking for a bone in leg of lamb. I couldn't find one. I could have ordered one, but it wouldn't have been here in time. So honestly, I found this boneless one at Costco. Great price. Uh, it's a great size for a small family. And, uh, and sometimes you don't want a lot of prep. This is going to be very easy. They've actually done all the hard work for you by taking the bone out. But it is impressive sometimes when you're done to pull it. But anyways, it's in this netting just to keep it together. Really, I don't need to trim anything off of this. It looks good. I'm just going to put the rub on. I'm going to leave the netting on for now. The, the smoker doesn't get hot enough to actually burn this netting. But I will take it off after. So right now, just the good old... Salt, pepper, garlic, and ancho rub. Get this. That's all we're doing. We're gonna keep it that simple today. And uh, let's go to the smoker. It's raining too much to have my gear outside. And uh, I got the, the bedroom cam on. And uh, oh, damn rain. Anyways, we're going to get this in the smoker. I'm not going to quite put it on the hot side. Because you know that's the hotter side. I'm going to put more in the middle. Right like that. Looks beautiful. And uh, away it goes. So we got the leg of lamb in the smoker. And uh, yeah, it's raining and I, I, it really sucks, but I'm not bringing my gear out there. So I'm gonna use the bedroom cam more today. Uh, I'm gonna run the smoker between 225 and 250. I'm gonna let it go for at least three hours and then we're gonna go take a peek. And then uh, depending on that, we're gonna go right into the next step of this uh, leg of lamb. I'm excited. Hey people, we're at four hours now. I, you know what, I just let it go. I want some nice color, nice flavor on it. And uh, let's take a look. <coughs> oh, that looks fantastic. Woo! Okay, I'm gonna pull it off and meet you back inside. It's looking beautiful and what I'm going to do, we're going to put it in here, add a little bit of liquid and get it back in the smoker. But honestly, at this point, you could throw it in your oven and just let it finish cooking in there. But I have the smoker going. It's easy to maintain. It doesn't use a lot of wood, so I'm just going to throw it back. It's just, it's just easy. But what I'm going to do, I am going to take the netting off because I don't want it on for this next part. Because you can see the netting was holding it together. But what I'm going to do, I'm just gonna, I know I need more hands. Yeah, that's hot too. Okay, back in there. So by putting it in here, we're essentially brazing it. So we're going to need a little bit of liquid. And uh, that gives you another chance to add some more flavor, which is perfect. So what I'm going to do, <laughs> And I'm just whipping this up. These are flavors I like. These are flavors I think are gonna go really good with the lamb. So, I got a spoonful of mustard. I've got, I don't know if you can see that, cream or, oh, a nice local beer. I know, I know, I just love using this, the Maker's Mark bourbon. Just a shot of that. We 
just want to pour it over for some extra flavor I've got some uh, cloves of garlic which I'm just going to take the skins off and throw them whole in here so throw them in there like that I am adding a little bit of other aromatics a little bit of sage a little bit of myron, marjoram, however you say it. Call me crazy, just a touch of nutmeg. That's basically it, but I gotta add a little bit more liquid in there. That's not enough, I'm gonna add the whole thing. A few pieces of butter. Just to help out, you never know, it adds good flavor. Mm, that smells so good. And now we just got to wrap it and then get it back in the smoker. So we got this nice little package here. Uh, aluminum foil is nice and tightly sealed. So we're going to keep all that moisture in and help cook. One thing, I did take the temperature. Uh, it was at 158 Fahrenheit. So it's still got a ways to go to get really tender. But we got time and... Uh, it should be ready for dinner. So I'm just gonna go throw this back in the smoker. It started raining again, so next time you see me, this will be done. Okay, we're finally inside. It's been in there for a few more hours. I haven't peeked and uh, let's, let's open it up. I'm excited. Oh yeah, it smells so good. I'm gonna take it out, put it on here because we can see it better. Uh, mm. Well, that tells you how tender it is because I can't take it out at, at one piece. I'm gonna just dive in. Look at that, look at that, just falls apart. It's still really hot. But look, oh, I can't do that. Mm. Look at that, just, oh, look at that, falls apart, beautiful. That's so good. Some of the bark. Mm. But what I'm gonna do, because we're not gonna waste this juice, just take some. Save that, don't get rid of that. That's, uh, look at that. Look how this just falls apart. For this, this is exactly what I wanted. I wanted it like this. Now, you can eat this with your favorite mashed potatoes, rice, get a pita, however you want it. But this will make a fantastic Easter dinner. I think you should do it. And if you have more people coming over, do two or three of these at the same time. It's gonna take the same amount of time as one or change it up, do one and a ham and something else. But this, sorry, I gotta dive in again. This is fantastic. Mm. Winner, for me, that's a total winner. Tastes great. That juice tastes great. Just complements everything. And if you don't like something, omit it and add something else. But for the for this, awesome. Okay, everybody, thanks for watching. It's dinner time here. Perfect timing. I'm hungry. I'm gonna go eat some off camera. Thanks for watching. Uh, see you soon. Try this. You're gonna love it. Hit that like, subscribe, leave me some comments, and uh, happy eating.